Hey guys, I'm out here on the middle Provo again. We're just gonna be testing some new stuff today, so I'm just gonna be fishing and uh, trying out some new things. We'll go over them as we go. But uh, hopefully we have a good day of fishing. The storm's gonna roll in in three or four hours, so hopefully we can put some, something together before then. Anyways, let's get to it. So we're at our first spot here. I've got a Bunny Royale size 14 and a size 20 overachiever jig midge on. I've got my Diamondback 10 foot one weight today. And what's kind of new is I'm testing out Lance's new products from Umpqua. This is a their 0.007 liter butt material, which is like a 4X type material. And then their 4X cider material, which is also 0.007. So these are both their the products he has for his micro formula or micro liter formula so i'm going to be testing them out today i've been looking for a new for a different uh cider material product anyway because i don't love the colors on uh the sa ones and the real ones are a little brittle brittle in imo so i haven't found a cider material i've been you know absolutely enamored with so I'm gonna try this one today. What's different about this one, or I have the pink and yellow on, and I kind of miss, I was on red and yellow before, and I kind of missed the pink. I feel like I see the pink a little bit better than the red. So I'm glad to be back on pink for my cider material. This is thinner, but I can already tell I see it better, which is a problem I was having with the uh, SA1. So, happy for that. Anyways, I'm just fishing through the close stuff here. They're, they're gonna be in that far seam. It's pretty early in the morning and it, it was cold overnight. It was in the teens, so. Uh, they're not gonna be that active right now. So let's go get into the froggy water and make our first dress through. Yeah, I see the cider much better than the SA stuff, honestly. This is a little bit of a thinner formula. There we go. Then I normally use. So we'll have to see how, how much I like that. I usually, I mean, I'm not that far off. I'm a thousandth off from my normal formula. But we might have a decent one here. Maybe. He's in the current. That could also be why. That's, yeah, it's, it's not a big one. It's a uh, cookie cutter. Interesting, or I'd be interested to see what he ate. All fish feel pretty big on this one weight. He ate the birdie, I think. Buddy. Okay. Well. Maybe their first brown of the day. Not too bad. I don't think you get the hands wet early worthy, even though you're an you know, average Provo fish. You want to catch a release tool. Okay. Yeah. Solid little brown. There you go. There we go. Oh, lost it. I don't know what that was. That didn't feel small. Oh, dang it. Did I break off? No, we're good.
There we go. Okay. at the net. Oh, I didn't even see what flyer was on. Oh well, quick release. Yeah, dragging him through that current. Not exactly the best move. Need to get him a little more above me there. Sorry, little guy. There we go. Finally. Oh, that's a good fish too. Just a little persistence, so... Huh? Now it flies on. Good fish. On a one weight. On the birdie, or the bunny. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay, and okay. Just can't get his head up. There we go. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh. Yeah, Whew. that's fun on the one way, that's for sure. Okay, let's get this fly out. Be able to get it. Oh, okay. Let's take the gloves off. Fish out of here. Oh, that's a solid one. Oh, in the pans here. Oh, come on. Okay. He's upset. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Fish flop. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. Get in here, see if we can find one. There we go. Guys downstream on me. <clears throat> okay, little guy. Let's see if I can catch him with this tool. Oh, I think I can get that. 
All right. Okay. Just make it easy, huh? Okay. A little brown. That's a big one. No, no, dude, that's a giant. What happened? Just pulled off? Oh man, that's a nice one. That's probably as big as the one up there. Oh dude, he ate the... I pulled it, he pulled out. He ate the new fly. Dang it, dude. Oh, there's gotta be more in there, right? How many fish are stacked up right there? This current's rough on this one weight. I'm slowly moving them over.
pop out. Perfect. How many fish are there in here? We better check our tippet too. <clears throat> I think we're okay. Hook's okay, knot's okay. Alright. Dude. What? That's so insane, how many, it's every cast for like the last 15 minutes. It really is insane. Of course the one we didn't get to the net was the Mondo. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. Okay. Don't need to get their hands wet for him. He's a little guy. Cool. Is he still good everywhere? Uh, this create a knot. That's not great. Uh, we better retie that. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a retie, unfortunately. Guess we'll rest the run for a little bit. Keep that piece. No, we can't. Okay, let's redo the whole thing.
There we go, that's a good one. Just had to move up five feet. Okay. See what we can do here. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. Get him and swing him around. Get him up. Yeah, man, that's a good one. There we go. Yeah, that one's pretty too. Okay, let's not take her out here. There we go. Wow, look at the spots on that one. Get the hand wet. Yeah, that's a solid one, huh? Cool. Go back, dude. Well, it's kind of midget, midge time, but no heads in here. Don't see a ton coming off, to be honest. Maybe it'll happen a little later in the day, like an hour or so, but it's not looking that great for dry flies today. So on them through here. They've got to be looking for them, so I bet you they're willing to eat, even if they're not coming up. So, I'm gonna fish this tail out first. This could be one where we get a few stacked up. So, yep. Oh, got out of the net. Let's try that again. Okay, little guy. Oh, he's kind of maybe wrapped around. There we go. Okay, little guy. Oh, that's a good one. Another rise. Is that a whitey? It is. First whitey in a while. Cool. Nice. Whitey ate the bunny. I feel like they don't eat the bunny that often, so... It's good to see him in here. I was worried because I wasn't, hadn't been catching that many lately. But there you go. Might just mean I've been fishing different water or flies or something. Like I said, they don't eat the chartreuse that well, it seems like. Oh yeah. The buffaloes are coming off now. Maybe we'll see some rises in this run. Just gonna fish the tail out until they get the fish a chance to get on the bugs more. Ooh. Fish, I think. Yep, that might have been that fish that came up.
with the bunny. Okay. I'm pin pretty good. Not a bad one. I didn't even find a giant in here. Okay, I'm gonna take a step here. <clears throat> there we go. This one's angry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna want the reel. Swing them around here. No, 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 no. Not with the head shakes. Come on. Oh, not quite as big as I thought, but that's a good one. Here we go, guys. It's a quality one right there. It's not as big as our other, well, a little bigger than our other big one. Say what, dude? Yep. Well, that's probably 18. So, oh, great. Well, if it, the fly is going to break off, might as well be in the net, huh? Get our fly back here. Yep. Okay. Just put a little holder. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Okay, before I walk in too far, fish this close edge. Yep. Like I said, fish the close edge. I don't think this one's that big. Fighting hard though. Oh, it's not like the rod here. There we go. Yeah. Pretty much cookie cutter for today. Okay. Keep going. Like I said, keep fishing this close. Oh. 
Okay. This might be a large one. Yep, it is. Wow. Wow. He is dogging me hard. This Diamondback one way can handle some big fish though. That's for sure. Look at the full bend in that rod. Five and a half X. Lance's new uh, <clears throat> Euro stuff, Euro mater leader materials is doing good too. Okay, let's swing him around. Yeah, that's, that's a real good one, guys. That might be big fish of the day. I can get him up. Oh, about, yeah, 19. A little bit bigger than the other one. Okay, let me take the tension off the line here. That is a very nice fish. Especially for winter, you know? Okay, dude. I know you're pissed. If you want to unhook yourself, I'd be cool with that. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's a solid one, guys. That's a good one. There we go. I don't know what this one is yet. Feels big. Looks big. Right as the sun came out, man. Still in this near stuff. Oh no, not that big, just feisty. Yeah, not big at all. I must, I must have him thinned or wrapped. No, I got him in the mouth. He might just be wrapped up though. Where's my line? Okay, that's a hook in the finger. Okay. Yeah, just feisty. Side of the mouth might have helped, but oh. there we go. There's a little guy. Okay. Ooh, that was neat. Damn it. Yep. It's another good one. I think that fish came back and ate it a second time. Oh, okay. This is a real, real big one. Just a really big one. Swing them up above me here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, probably a 20 inch fish. One. Oh, it's getting a little smaller. Is he? Is he though? It's probably 19 again. Oh, 
Oh, that one might go 20. I don't have a great way to measure them right now. So, was it? When in doubt, say 19. That's it. I think that's bigger than the last one. Well, some days are magical, guys, and this is. This, these last like two hours have been that. Look at that fish. Yeah. 19 probably. I think 19 safe. Oh, this is. I wish they were eating dries, but. You know, if all the big fish want to eat nymphs today, I'll, I'll take it. Once the sun comes out, when the sun dips behind the cloud, it, it just stops. But they must just move in, move up a little bit in the feeding lanes when the sun comes back out. Yep. Just every big fish in the run wants to eat. Okay, this one's going way downstream on me here. I think we're gonna have to go chase this one unless we can swing them around back. Okay, let's go after him. It's another 17, 18 inch fish, guys. That is just... When the middle prover wants to show out, it'll show out, huh? Right in the corner of the mouth. Okay. There's a tool here. Yeah, he went down on me because he's in the corner of the mouth. Whoa, that's a statement. He went downstream on me because he's in the corner of the in the corner of the mouth. Oh no. Well, we might need to sort that out. Let's get him out of the net. Is he still attached to this? Avoid the gills. Okay, let's flip you over. Avoid the gills. There we go. Relax, dude. Okay. Okay, we'll sort out the. Look at just another tank of a fish. Okay. Well, guys, it was a fun day on the middle Provo. Before this video ended, I just wanted to let you guys know I'll be tying at the Wasatch Fly Tying and Fly Fishing Expo on March 15th and 16th here in Sandy, Utah. I'll have a table both days. And I'll probably be walking around a little bit and hanging out a bit in uh, Joe Bradley's bamboo fly rod booth. So if I'm not at the table and you want to come by and say hi, just look for me in those walking around or in Joe's booth. But if you just want to come out and watch me tie, ask me questions about any of my patterns, or just generally uh, talk shop, I'll be there. Hope I can see a few of you there. Thanks for watching.